Hey everybody, Troy from the Do It Yourself World Electronics. I got my big old Bedini motor out. I haven't had this out in years because it got wrecked in a couple moves. It's not very good. I am going to tear this down, clean it up, rebuild it, build new coils and circuits, and improve on it, and see if I can get this whole thing going again. Uh, as you can see, I had another coil. I had it somewhere in the shop. And this had three big coils wound together. They were all the same. It had three large fat coils with, I think there were three strands each. I have to double check on the back side. I don't know where that coil is, but I, I know I never took it apart. And it was powerful back in the day. It put out some serious power. But after a move, it got really trashed on me. And I never used it again. So, it's time for a rebuild. Let me take you upstairs and show you what I'm doing up there. Just some updates on what's going on with experiments today. Here in my new warm electronics lab. Upstairs, I've got my really nice looking Bedini motor running and it's hooked up to actually four batteries on the output it's my e-bike batteries and two six volt lead acid batteries connected in series to make a 12 volt battery all connected to the same output and it doesn't use any more energy to charge more well, to restore, I'm restoring lead acid batteries. It doesn't take any more energy the more you put on the back side. So I'll be getting into some Bedini motor experiments again here soon, now that I have this up and running. Over here, I built a charging station, which is going to hold 10 of these little devices. And it's helped me greatly because that blue means that one's done. I am now able to charge right now five batteries at one time off one power supply. Whereas before I could only charge a single battery on a power supply. I got to swap one out there. And it was just using too much of my time. To charge a battery can take four um, at least four hours, sometimes more, depending on the current. And then a discharge cycle can take another four or more hours to check the capacity. And then another charge cycle, we're talking eight, 12, 16 hour day for one battery on one power supply. And that's just not efficient use of my time. So here I've got thermocell batteries I'm cycling them through and running tests on that. Let me see what do we got. 3.59, 356 milliamp hours. I'm testing these for sale. And I got to pop another one on this power supply. And here I'm getting my Samsung batteries ready for my big battery bank. And improving my use of my time here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. It's a little awkward one-handed. I set this up. Uh, I did not do it on video because it was it was really just awkward working. I hit all the wires behind. I've got, I want to put some, some banana jacks or some kind of terminals on here, but I don't have anything thick enough to go through this wood yet. And I want to add another five circuits. And maybe I'll do that on video, I'm not sure. But when I put these on, I realized that the batteries hang down to where I was going to put the next row of, of uh, charge circuits. So that's a problem. I might have to extend this a little tiny bit, but I'll get that to another time. This one is ready to go. And there's no way I'm going to be able to hook up another battery. But that one's done, ready to go. Maybe I can, I don't know. I highly doubt I can do it with one hand. No, no way. I'll get that other battery and I'll be right back. And happily charging on one power supply. Now these are five amp max. So that's another reason I only did five for now. But if I get a second row, I'll be able to run 10 batteries on two power supplies. 
And an idea from uh, Solar Power Electricity and Electronics on YouTube, Philip20. I can use a computer power supply because it usually has like 20 amps on the 5 volt rail. So I'll be able to run everything. But these are rated at 1 amp charge. Um, the current is 1 amp per battery. And I never, never want to use that much current. So for now, I'm using three and a half amps for all of these combined to give them a more gentle charge. I don't want to really, really put much stress on these, especially since I don't know how old they are and their status. I want to give them all a gentle charge. So there is a hack I'm going to do on these. There's a resistor on the side. Um, I'll do that on a video. I'm going to pull that off and then I'm going to put on a couple of wires and then go to a series of resistors with jumpers so I can select my charge current based on whatever battery I'm charging because these thermocells are rated at 1000 milliamp hours, 1 amp hour total capacity and I never 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 want to charge that with 1 amp in. So that'll be a separate video one day I got 40 of these little circuits in the mail for next to nothing and uh, so I've got plenty to experiment with and make adjustable current battery chargers for basically any size imaginable. So that's it here, just a simple update from the homestead in the electronics lab upstairs. A lot of batteries, a lot of charging going on, a lot of experiments. Restoration of lead acid batteries while well, my rib is healing. Uh, so I'm, what I'm doing, that's my main thing right now. Simple and easy work. Well, please like this video. Short and sweet. Leave a comment below. Talk to you later.